find current I in the circuit in figure. We have to find this current in this circuit using mesh analysis. Solution First we will redraw the circuit. Now let's assume this is mesh number 1 with current I1. This is mesh number 2 with current I2. Here we can see that between this mesh and this mesh there is a current source. So this whole forms a super mesh. So let's say this is mesh number 3 with current I3. This is mesh number 4 with current I4. And this whole forms a super mesh. Let's say this is node number 1. So this current is entering here. So this is I3. And this current is here I4. Now we will apply KVL to mesh number 1. So for that this will be positive. This will be negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Apply KVL to mesh number 1. Let's say we will start from here. So minus 30 plus 2 I1 minus I3. plus 3 I1 minus I2 is equal to 0 minus 30 plus 2 I1 minus 2 I3 plus 3 I1 minus 3 I2 is equal to 0 so this will be 2 plus 3 5 I1 minus 3 I2 minus 2 I3 is equal to 30. Let's say this is equation number 1. Now we will apply KVL to mesh number 2. Apply KVL to mesh let's say we will start from here so this will be plus 3 I2 minus I1 I2 minus I1 plus 6 I2 minus I4 plus 1 I2 is equal to 0. So this will be 3 I2 minus 3 I1 plus 6 I2 minus 6 I4 plus I2 is equal to 0. So this will be 3 minus 3 I1 then 9 3 plus 6 is 9 9 plus 1 10 plus 10 I2 minus 6 I4 is equal to 0 now here we have I, I1 I2 and I4 and in equation 1, I1, I2 and I3 is there. So, this I4 can be replaced. If we apply KCL at node number 1, then I3 plus 
I3 plus 4 ampere is equal to I4. I3 plus 4 is equal to I4. Current entering nodes and current leaving the nodes. So I4 is equal to I3 plus 4. minus 3 I1 plus 10 I2 minus 6 I3 plus 4 is equal to 0. So this will be minus 3 I1 plus 10 I2 minus 6 I3 minus 24 is equal to 0. This will be minus 3 I1 plus 10 I2 minus 6 i3 is equal to 24. Let's say this is equation number 2. Now we will apply KVL to super mesh. Apply KVL to super mesh. Let's say we will start from here before that we have to give the sign so according to this direction of current this will be positive this will be negative positive negative let's say we will start from here so this will be plus 4 i3 4 i3 plus 8 I4 plus 6 I4 minus I2 plus 2 I3 minus I1 is equal to 0. So this will be 4 I3 plus 8 I4 plus 6 I4 minus 6 I2 plus 2 I3 minus 2 I1 is equal to 0. So this will be minus 2 I1 then this will be minus 6 I2 then this will be 4 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6 I3 then this will be plus 14 I4 is equal to 0 now this I4 is replaced by I4 is equal to I3 plus 4 2 I1 minus 6 I2 I3 plus 4 is equal to 0. So this will be minus 2 I1 minus 6 I2 plus 6 I3 plus 14 I3 plus this will be 14 into 4 56 56 is equal to 0. So this will be minus 2 I1 minus 6 I2 plus 6 this 6 plus 14 will be 20 I3 is equal to minus 56 this I is small
here is also it is a small i same here same here now let's say this is equation number 3 so solving equation number 1 Two and three, we get mod five two five minus three minus two thirty from equation two minus three. Ten minus six twenty four from equation number three minus two minus six twenty minus fifty six eight point five six I one is equal to eight point Five six ampere. I two is equal to four point six three ampere, and I three is equal to minus zero point five five ampere. What we find? We have to find this current I, and this I is equal to I one. I is equal to I one. Therefore, therefore, I is equal to eight point five six ampere. For electrical and electronics engineering related questions and answers, visit the link in the description below.